Hi guys. So I'm gonna do like a get ready with me and it is quite cold today. So it's like a winter get ready with me. I'm actually gonna go bowling tonight with a few friends. So, but before we get started, I do wanna say thank you so much to Peri Para for partnering with me on this video. So if you guys don't know, Peri Para is a K-beauty makeup brand and they're really well known for their lip products. Actually on Amazon, they are the number one best seller of lip stains, I believe. I've personally used Peri Para before their lip products and they're super good. They have like a really playful vibe and they have so many products that kind of help you they kind of help you do makeup trends and kind of wear makeup how you want to wear your makeup. And their products are really cute and playful. Um, so I really love like the whole aesthetic of it. So I actually wanted to show you guys their Reddit nude kit. They have three lip colors in there. The Reddit Nude Kit is a curated collection of Ink the Velvet's three best-selling shades. So they have numbers and names. So the first one is Ink Velvet number one, and this is in the shade Good Brick. It's a really pretty, like, deep red color. And then Ink Velvet number two is also kind of a red color, but it's more on the... It's on like the lighter red side. That The name of it is actually Celeb Deep Rose, so it's kind of like a rose red. And then this one's actually my favorite. This is Ink Velvet 17. It's called Rosy Nude. And like the name, it's a very good like everyday color. It's a really nice kind of like muted rose color if I could describe it. But you can kind of see like the lip products are super lightweight. They're very velvety and like smooth. So it's really comfortable to wear. You can also use these products for like your eyes or for your cheeks. They're very like multi-purpose. They're really good at blending out so you can definitely like use it on your cheeks for like blush sometimes or for eyeshadow. So like I said, uh, Ink Velvet number 17 is my personal favorite and I think among the Ink Velvet's lip products, this is one of the best selling ones. I believe this is really similar to Huda Beauty's um, Power Bullet Matte Lipstick in the shade Interview. And I think it's also really similar to the Fenty Beauty one in the shade Thick. But anyways, if you guys are interested, you can shop their Cyber Monday sale. It's gonna be on Amazon, it's gonna be 40% off, and it's gonna run from November 29th to December 5th. And I'll have this information linked below as well as the products, the Reddit Nude Kit, but yeah, happy shopping. And again, thank you to Peri Para for partnering with me. And thank you so much to you guys for being really supportive and allowing me to work. I always really appreciate it. And you probably have heard this a million times, but I'm always gonna say it. I'm actually gonna change my contacts really quick. I'm gonna use these Olen Scandi lenses in olive. Okay, I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I use number seven. Oh, actually, I'm gonna go grab something to cover this. I'm using the Rescue Bomb Red Correct Color Correcting Green Cream from Hero Cosmetics. I think I showed you guys this before, but I always try and use it under uh, or over like the more redder areas on my face. Anyways, how are you guys? Um, I feel like I always jump in just talking about myself and that's not a good way to start a conversation. <laughs> but yeah, so if you need a place to vent or something, you can always vent here. But personally, I feel like I've been pretty good. I started my period, so <sighs> chin pimples are back. I am on a little break from school. I think I'm gonna start again in a couple weeks. So it's actually really nice to have this break because dude, four hours every day of Korean is extremely exhausting. It's actually really hard to like, just find a balance in my life with sc like school for that long. And I'm like, how did I go to school for like seven hours a day? I'm so confused. I think I'm just exhausted because I'm like constantly having to think in a different language. So I think that's what's making me so tired. But anyways, I'm really excited to have this break. I did pass my first semester, so I'm very excited about that. I'm a little disappointed in myself because I got a B. Uh, and I know it doesn't matter because this is just like 
this isn't I'm not in actual school anymore. I'm just in school to actually learn something I want to learn, but I still carry this thing where I feel like I need to get an A. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my 3CE Overtake palette. And just put a little on my eyes. Also, a lot of you guys have been telling me that it doesn't even look like I got surgery, which is really nice. And I kind of agree because I still think that my eyes like fold in I feel like I, I I feel like I feel like I look the same, but I feel like I look more awake. I don't feel the need to raise my eyebrows so much, which was the point. But I am afraid that because my eyelids are so heavy that it's just going to keep going down. And I guess I guess if I feel like that later on, I can just make the crease a little higher, but for now I'm just going to let it be. I'm feeling a little stressed these days because I feel like I share a lot about myself online um, and I know there's like a lot of creators obviously have like different boundaries about what they want to share online and stuff and that's just like regular people too like what they want to share with their friends or their family and there's like boundaries of how much they want to share and I feel like I feel like I appear more open and like just open to sharing things because I I share so much about how I feel whether it's good or bad but there's all actually oh, sorry there's actually a lot of stuff going on in my life right now where I'm like I'm very stressed out about it <laughs> so I feel like my what's it called my energy has been really low lower lately than usual i'm gonna try to do a blush um and lip really quick i'm gonna use rosy nude ink velvet 17 rosy nude i told you guys this one's my favorite also another thing is this smells so good but yeah look how like smooth that goes on the lips oh, so good i'm just gonna put hmm i think i want to put on the other color as my blush I'm gonna use number two actually. But I think I'm gonna be have to bleh. I think I'm gonna have to be quite light handed with this because it's a very strong color. Let's try that much first. Ooh, that's cute. Yeah, you definitely don't need that much of this whenever you're doing your blush. Ta-da! That looks really good. I might actually put on some more later, depending on how rosy I wanna look. Anyway, so the other night, this is so embarrassing, but the other night um, I just started my period and so I was like, really bloated and I accidentally stained my last pair of like sleepwear pants and so Jimmy was like oh here just wear mine and I was like I can't wear yours it's gonna be too big <laughs> I was wrong it fit me perfectly and I was so <laughs> upset last night I was like why do your pants fit me anyways I just felt so bad for Jimmy because I was just like I was like why do your pants fit me why and he was like He's like, it's just, it's just cause you're on your period. Like I'm way bigger than you, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, nothing he could have said in that moment would have made me feel better. I just thought it was really funny cause I was very emotional and distraught that my boyfriend's pants fit me. And it was like a perfect fit, like snug. I don't know if anybody else has this insecurity, but I have like this weird thing where I don't really want to be like, like when people are like, oh, you can sit on me or like pick me up. I always feel like super weird about that because, because I don't feel like I'm super light. Like I don't feel like I'm, I'm not as light of, as a feather. You know what I mean? So I'm always scared that people see me and they're like, Oh, I can like, sh like she can sit on me and it won't hurt. Like she's not that heavy or she doesn't look that heavy. I feel like I'm heavier than I look. And so I have this weird thing where when people are like, oh, I don't know if you can hear that, but Haku's snoring or just like a, 
like dreaming. But yeah, anyway, so I've always had that weird, dumb insecurity. Um, and so when Jimmy's pants fit me yesterday, it just brought all of those like insecurities back. And like, I'm trying to work out and stuff. Um, one, cause I do in, like wanna be a stronger person cause I feel really weak. And two, because it's good for you. But I always just think about like, ugh, I just want to be skinnier or whatever. This is something that I'm still very much learning to distance my, that kind of thinking, distance myself from that kind of thinking. Okay, and I really wanna wear lashes, so. Okay, I'm gonna wear these lashes. I haven't opened them yet. I think I've tried these before though. This is Cloud9 from Doe Lashes. Done with one side. Okay, so I'm gonna actually just put a little bit more of this blush on. just feel like my cheeks could be rosier. All right, I will show you my outfit. Okay, I think that this is a very appropriate bowling outfit. It's very comfortable. The sweater is fuzzy and warm. What do you think? These jeans could be a little tighter, I think. I think they would look cuter if they were a little tighter, but that's okay. Okay guys, I'm gonna go walk Haku. Um, I got ready really, really early. <laughs> so I'm not gonna leave for a little bit, but, but I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me um, and I will see you next time. Thank you again for always supporting me. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, bye guys. Oh, <laughs> oh,